Hey guys, welcome back to Small Room Productions. Again, I, as always, I hope you guys are having another awesome day. Uh, today we are going to be going over the uh, REQ6. Uh, this is the Renaissance uh, EQ by Waves. Um, I did a review on the Q10 EQ, which is another one by Waves. This one's very similar, slightly different. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go over it. Now I do have the... Um, Avid or DigiDesign uh, EQ7. Uh, I just want to load them up to bring out the difference. These are kind of be similar but different uh, in a lot of different ways. So uh, with that said, let's jump right into it. Uh, the Q or the REQ6 by Waves here has six bands. Uh, at the bottom here, you can change the different type of band that it is. Um, you have a bell shape, a uh, low shelf, high pass, and then a low res, uh, which is kind of nice. Let me go ahead and actually, I want to use it on this one here. Can you do it here? Nope, it's this one only. I think it's the low and the high only that you can do. Yeah, the high res. So let's go with the high end. So um, as you can see here, if I increase this, let me move this back and adjust the Q. As you can see here, as when I adjust the Q, it not only adjusts here, but it also creates a dip here. So it's what we uh, call a, uh, a tilt effect. So as you're boosting one, it's uh, it's cutting on the other. Now, why is that beneficial? The reason why is that when you have an EQ like this, um, what you're doing is in order to hear what it is that you're boosting, um, you're cutting back from opposing frequencies, so that way it's even clearer to hear the frequencies that you're boosting. So that's definitely a nice feature to offer. Uh, definitely great with, uh, if you're like, let's say for an example, if you're using a thing that's, uh, you know, have a lot of high end frequencies such as symbols or such, uh, maybe what you wanna do is cut back from like uh, some of the other uh, higher mids, so that way you can hear more of the highs. So that's definitely a nice feature to have. Let me just uh, bring this back down. Now, uh, here at the low end uh, of the spectrum, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. You have your regular Q. Now on the Q10 uh, or all the Q EQs by Waves, you wouldn't be able to adjust this. It'd just be at a fixed position. Now, one thing I personally like about this is that you can adjust the Q to be much more tighter. So like I said in another video, it allows you to be a little bit more surgical. So that's definitely a great thing to have, okay? Um, now, the uh, EQ over here that we have by Waves does give you that functionality to be able to get more of a tighter, um, you know, Q for your low shelf. Um, it doesn't give you the ability to do the low res and high res like the, uh, uh, e or the REQ6 here. Um, the other thing is that, for example, like I said, I like to be surgical and sometimes I just grab any band. I'm not really paying attention. Now with the EQ here by uh, that comes stock with Pro Tools, when you sweep through it, if you see here, it will stop at a certain frequency. So at 8K and then it'll go as low as 125. Still pretty good, but sometimes let's say if I am... Um, Let's say if I'm using the orange one already and I have it here on a higher frequency, I already have it set. I don't wanna move it. I don't wanna to have to do anything with it. And I grab this uh, yellow band, the mid frequency, and let's say there is a frequency that I'm having to deal a little bit lower and the red one's also being used too. Well, it stops at 125. What if the problem was at 100? Now what I gotta do is go ahead and readjust this back to wherever the orange one is and then go reach for my orange one to do that. And that's, I know sounds kind of like being a little bit nitpicky, uh, but you know, sometimes that's just something I run into. The great thing is, is that with the uh, REQ6 over here, I can go ahead and select any frequency. Let's, so let's take this yellow one here, right? I'm going to, let's just boost it up to 15. All right, and then I'm going to make the Q really narrow. So you can see here. And then I'm going to just go ahead, I can move across the entire frequency spectrum. So I'm not limited to be able to make this adjustment um, in, in certain areas of the frequency spectrum. So that's kind of nice to have, all right? So um, it's a very simple, easy to use EQ. Um, it doesn't look all that fancy and stuff like that. But uh, again, when it comes to just functionality, it works great. Um, I tend to use this EQ over this one. I mean, the uh, EQ7 I've been using for years and years and years since I've been doing music. Um, to kind of have this in, uh, as far as another weapon to use whenever I'm mixing and stuff like that, it's kind of nice to have now. So um, I don't think these are really that expensive either. Um, if I can, I'll go ahead later after the video, um, let you know what the current price is for one of these um, for just a native instrument, uh, a native uh, 
setup. So if you're just one in RTAS version or basic uh, AAX, you know, no TDM or stuff like that, um, I'll go ahead and put the price for that down below. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, yeah, have another excellent day. See you guys soon.